going to be a quick training on how to get your iPod Shuffle set up to uh, use for oral testing. Now there are a few things you're going to need. Um, number one being Audacity. If you go to the Audacity homepage, which is audacity.sourceforge.net, you're going to be able to download Audacity. It's a free program. Anybody can download it. It is also on the, on the G Drive on, in the public folder under All Programs. Uh, you can get Audacity there. So if you don't, if you just want to get there quickly, you can install it right from the G drive. Um, the next thing you're going to need is iTunes, and it's best to get the latest version of iTunes because they come out with new versions all the time. And you can get that at apple.com/forward/slash/itunes, and you just down again. It's a free download. You can download the newest version. When you click the free download link, they're going to give you a few options. Uh, usually, I uncheck the boxes that says you know sign up for email alerts and all of that, and you don't even have to enter your email address when it gives you that option. So um, uncheck the boxes when they come up, and then just click download and it'll download right to your computer um, and I'll put that on the G drive as well so right here I'm just gonna uncheck those and click download now and if you so if you want to get it on get the uh, iTunes from the G drive you can do that also uh, and then the last thing you'll need is the iPod shuffle that you already have so let's go ahead and get started in audacity I'm just gonna make a quick recording uh, that we can save and um, and put right to the uh, in iTunes. So let's do that. So I'm recording now and uh, this is going to be the chapter one test, uh, the first question uh, and then the second question, the third question and so on. So it's just a short recording that we can put right on the iPod shuffle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we're, when we go in Audacity, when we're ready, we're going to go up to file and then export as mp3. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to put it on the desktop because I want to put it somewhere that I can easily get to. So I'm going to call this the chapter one test. And you can make a folder on your desktop or put it in My Documents or HDrive or wherever. Um, but now I've got this Chapter 1 test MP3. I'm going to hit Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and this is the title, Artist, and Album that would show up in iTunes. You don't have to put, put that because it's just going to name it Chapter 1 test. You can do this if you want, but it's optional, so usually I'll leave it blank. And it's already saved that file right on the, uh, the desktop there. So, uh, so now I'm going to go into iTunes, and now here's iTunes if you've installed it. Uh, and again, I have not hooked up the iPod Shuffle yet, so I'm going to do that now. Get the iPod Shuffle out of its case. I've got the USB sync cable connected, and it just plugs right into the headphone jack. And when you do that, it's going to pop up, and, and if it's never been set up before, it's going to ask you, do you want to set up this iPod on this computer? Uh, you're going to have to sync it to the same computer every time, so make sure uh, you don't change computers or it'll erase it and you'll have to redo the setup process. Uh, it'll go through just a quick you know, setup on the computer and then eventually in iTunes it'll show the new iPod over on the left hand side right over here. So we'll just wait for that and it will load right on the side. And while we're waiting for that, if we minimize right now, you'll see that I've got the Chapter 1 test right here on my desktop. There's a couple of different things that I can do to get that into my library. I can either drag and drop that right into my library under Music, or I can import it. And I'm just going to drag and drop it. Um, so I've only got two songs in this, in this library right now, so I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to go ahead and get the Chapter 1 test and drag it right into my uh, library. So right now I've got Chapter 1 test, and if I right-click on it and do the Get Info, it'll tell me all the information about it. Um, the name is Chapter 1 test, the artist doesn't matter, the album artist is fine. But this is the only thing we're going to sync to that iPod. So, um, and you can see that I've already set it up as Burt's Green Shuffle and I'm going to manually manage the music. Now when you set up the iPod for the first time it's going to ask you to name it and you can see here that I've named it Burt's Green Shuffle and because it is the green one and it'll pull the color right in it, it, it's written in the hardware so iTunes knows which color it is and I recommend if you have multiple colors name name the color that way it's easily you know which one's hooked up. Um, and also when it asks you do you want to sync all of your music to the shuffle you want to manually manage that music so right here manually manage and that way you can just drag and drop the stuff you want on the uh, shuffle so I'm just going to drag chapter one test over to the shuffle and you can see that I've got uh, and it put it twice for some reason so I've, I'm going to delete that one I've only got one song on this shuffle 
So now the only thing that the, the student will be able to listen to is that chapter one test. And you can put multiple things, but I recommend just putting it just the one thing you want to have. And um, before you get ready to eject it, you want to hit the sync button. Now these shuffles are fairly fast, so it's not going to take that long to sync. So you may not even see any activity up here. Uh, and you can go ahead and eject it. And then as soon as you hit the eject button and it disappears, you can disconnect it from your computer and it's ready to go for that student. So let's just do a quick recap over the things we've talked about. Um, the first thing is Audacity. You want to download Audacity and install it to make sure it's there. Do a quick, do your recording for your test and then go to File, Export as MP3. When you do that, save it on the desktop or somewhere that you, you know where it's at. And then once you get over to iTunes, it'll be easy to either go up to File, Add File to Library, or you can just get it right from the desktop and drag it into iTunes. So I've already got this one in iTunes. Now, be aware that if I delete this file, most of the time in iTunes it's just pointing to a reference. So it may not it may not still play that file in iTunes. So so try to keep it. And then when you're done, you don't need it anymore. You can delete it off the desktop and delete it out of iTunes. So I'm just going to click delete, and it's going to remove. So I can any other song that you want to remove, you can delete from your um, iTunes directory. Um, and again, you don't want to sync everything to that shuffle because it'll fill up quick. You only want to do where it says manage music uh, manually, and then add the things yourself just by dragging and dropping. So again, I hope that you found this video useful, and uh, if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to do a tech request or email us, and we'd be glad to come and help you uh, get these things installed or help you with your, your recordings.